it's magic. So we've got a, a series of unintended behaviors that I haven't played. We'll try the first one, see if I like it and if I want to play the other ones. It seems like it might be up my alley, let's have a look. So it's, uh, it's by Jeepery Sunset, who in this spooky season goes by four message boxes. They made a whole bunch of stuff over many years. So we have an 11 exit intermediate, which is a lower effort hack that was made over the span of a few weeks. Each level is only half the level, the length of a typical level. There are custom blocks and quality of life patches, but each level's main premise is vanilla. Some unintended vanilla behaviors. We've got a five of six ratings. Um, yeah, creative masterpiece. Amazed by the imaginative use of each vanilla glitch. This is a uh, quiet mason, probably. Obscure attack, the line between puzzle and kaizo. Um, clear objectives in each obstacle, very cool. Shoved, I thought it was an absolute joy. Even when I was a little annoyed at a particular trick, I found every level a thrill and look forward to seeing what new mechanic you'd work with next. B2D likes it, I guess, probably. Despite, I don't like the utilization of wrong tile set graphics. I love the hack entirely, about four hours, huh? Met balls, thought it was creative and a joy. Yeah, look, everyone says it's pretty good, creative and very fun. And fantastic, says Komodo. It was a blast. Got the title screen, we have, uh, yeah. So <clears throat> clearly we've got some like ROM hack races style, you know, sprite solid kind of things going on here. We've got a wiggler situation. In this one, there's a Yoshi egg and a dude kicks something and I don't know. A lot of signs, a lot of arrows. I guess you go to the right. Uh, got sprite killers here, is, I guess is what that is. Is that a, what the hell is that? It's like a Goomba. It's poofing out stuff. Oh, is that a Yoshi? It's a layer two thing where like the smoke things are offset, maybe? Anyway, overworld is there too, which looks fine. Anyway, the, the title screen, I believe is another one of those vanilla, uh, like vanilla title sequence things where the movement on the title screen is vanilla, and they've made some cool stuff around it. Probably. I don't know. Seems like it. Anyway, look, let's just play. Let's have a look at this one. Un Nintendo behavior. Yeah, Yoshi's house. Uh, most of the custom blocks used in the hack are common, however, if you need a quick refresher, enter the door here. Let's enter the door here. Uh, you'll see these on-off switches frequently. They can be activated by Mario and sprites, even if the sprite is dead. It's true. Uh, yeah, one sec. Wait, what? Oh my god, it's already a puzzle. Alright, one up. Oh. Uh, even if the sprite is dead, true. Sprite killer for sure. Is it both ways is the blue ones and one way is those ones, understood. Uh, okay. Sure, I guess one F zero and death blocks. Alright, alright, makes sense. All that's fine. Let's do the first level. It's called pausing in the nine D's. Nine D's what? <clears throat> uh, freezing the game via Yoshi will cause shellless Coopers to fall off conveyors. It happens, it's true. Good tutorial. <laughs> Nice lava tiles, I get it. Of the, I gotta get on the, wait. Yeah, okay, then this guy. Uh -huh. All right, first guy's got nothing to do with it. All right, all right, all right, cool. Oh, all right, he's going down the stairs. All right, cool. What do we got now? Hint, when time has halted, the travelers will not greet. 
When time has halted, the travelers will not greet. Is Chibri's, is English their first language? They seem like they've got a good grasp on the English language. Uh, it's, a, it's a riddle. The travelers will not greet. doing I've, uh, uh. <laughs> what well so when this guy grows up I've got to make the guy on the right not eat okay I think that's what's going on all right You know, I was thinking to myself, like, the other day, like, are the sideways rope conveyors actually used in the vanilla game? I'm trying to think of a level that actually uses them. Okay, so, like, I'm gonna grow that guy up by hitting the switch, and then I gotta hit the, the mushroom block. Like that. But what's the P switch for? It's for going up here. Alright, alright. Oh. Are they in the star slash special world? I mean, there's a lot of ropes in the first special world thing, but I don't I think they're all static, but I could be wrong. Maybe we'll have to do another 96 eggs at run and look out for them. Anyway, wrinkle in space. Sprite 8E is an unusual sprite. It creates a wormhole effect that warps Mario instantly. The warp effect only goes from left to right. Ah, yes, the warp hole sprite. So, what am I actually doing though? Do I just like throw this through? I'm gonna land on the shell. So I have to be moving downwards when I warp. Is this a checkpoint? Oh, I've got to take damage on it. Ah, damn. All right. So I just don't jump. Got it. Ah. Uh. I need to I need to get the height off this. Oops, uh, let's do that like this. Yeah, nice. Yeah, this uh, this sprite's a weird one. It is a vanilla sprite, obviously. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, you have to neutral that. Because it, it you lose your speed when you go through it too. I accidentally pressed right. Yeah. Um, no worries, Sauce, take it easy. Now, what do you do here? Coin, it's scary. Right. The coin's gonna trigger the on off. Alright, alright, I get it, I get it. Hmm, looks really strict. Right. In this room, the arrow signs at the top of the level correspond to where the actual warp sprites are below. 
Right, so they're... They're all the way along the top. So we'd want to... We'd want to trigger this. Wait, is there a... There's a gap in the... Sorry, there's a gap in the fence here. So I can't just climb across here. We want to... We want to warp. On the fence. But hang on, they don't work when you're behind the fence. Oh boy, alright, alright. So how is that going to work? So I want to be on the back, but then I want to... No. Wait, what? So I want to be here and do it? So I need to be on the back of the fence. But I need to get pushed over. What is the lineup for that? I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to do that thing where you jump, but hey, there you go. Or, oh yeah, I don't know if that's what you meant to do. It's like punch jump, but uh, that's what I did. Cargo blimp. What is, what's cargo blimp mean? This hack uses ASM to make the pea balloon more streamlined and quick. In this level, the pea balloon will also last forever. It is possible to pea balloon while holding an item. When entering the door, hold X or Y and don't move till you grab baby Yoshi. Alright, so it's just a better pea balloon. So... Alright, we gotta back bump it. Alright, I get it, I get it. Um, we've got to back bump this one too. And the vine goes up, so left, right, left, right. Oh, I had to, yeah, I had to get up there before the shell drops so I can bump it. Ah, oh, it's like you got to face that way. Understood. Get that. Uh, spring. What's the springboard for? Ah, because it's going to push me through the springboard and other tile, right? Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Whoops. Whoops. Really fiddly. this and just go through, right? Like that. And then touch this. And then throw up. Is that right? Like, what if I didn't keep the Yoshi? I would have kicked the shell into the on-off and I would have died. Okay. Okay, I get it. Alright, I accidentally did the right thing. Whew. You got breakfast to go. Oh, I'm over here. Oh, eggs over here. Egg toss glitch. Due to the magic of item swap, the blue coopers in this level will get confused and cause the Yoshi egg to get kicked. Sorry, what? 
So something's going on the bottom of the screen. Oh, the guy, okay, the guy at the bottom of the screen is the one that's kicking the Yoshi egg. Okay. That's how that works. Because I'm assuming his shell gets sprite killed. Now, what's going on here? What did it do? It kicked it into the turn block. Oh, we gotta hit all three. Which is uh, actually really hard to do. No, it's easy. I got it. Really strict timing on it, though. Uh, P switch. Oh, I've got to hit it, the P switch when the egg is like in the middle. Yeah, give it some ground. Understood. Ah. Uh, the same idea here. No, I hit this. Yeah. It went better than I thought it would. I wasn't, yeah. Might have got lucky on that one. Do I have to hit that? I have to hit the one on the right. Wait, what? Because when it rebounded, it hit the, the blue switch. I've got to, have I got to get it in the wall? Wait, but then he's going to ladder up. So I have to, I have to hit it again. What is this? If a Yoshi dies when a new one spawns, a strange things might happen to Mario while the new one spawns. What are you talking about? I'm going to just hit this as early as possible. Hitting, it was hitting the switch at the bottom of the screen. Oh, I didn't even look at the bottom of the screen. Oh, so I hit it when the coin... I hit it when it when it's over the coin, I think. Okay, nothing strange happened to Mario, unfortunately. It'd be good to know what the strange thing is. So what if I hit it there, like way later? No, that doesn't work either. Strange things might happen to Mario. Will I just become invincible? Can I just like walk through the, the thing? Oh, what? Well, you, yeah, okay. You. Oh. Yeah, you can just walk through. His animation gets frozen, but you can still move. Uh, Rubber Navy. Easy game for puzzle babies, actually. It seems like it. How do I go anywhere? Ah, oh, we're learning about Torpedo Ted. Killed enemies can still interact with steep slopes. Ted's will actually bounce off them with additional speed. Let's have a look at that again, one more time. Slope, slope, on off. So I have to set this up. Uh, what does this say? Also, dead Ted sprites can be re-killed by running into them while you are invincible, which can bounce them around. Okay. So I, I have to become invincible. Uh, Ted, Ted's not here. There's Ted. Oh, but... I have to wait for him so much that I can't do the next thing. Is that correct? What's this? Oh, that just blocks the dude. Uh, I gotta look at that again. 
So I guess we're learning that it, it works with cheap cheeps as well. I'm gonna kill him, he's gonna hit the on off, off the steep slope. So I wanna go down here and, and one sec. I hit that and then like kill him when he's there. Understood, all right. Oh. Okay, lower down. It could have used another coin here. Or not another coin, actually. No. Shigeru Miyamoto. Imagine you showed him this game and explain why Super Mario World sucks. Usual bug spray. Where you see red coins, grab the vine and jump as high as you can while invincible. Watch as the magic happens. Use lava to reset. It's magic. I have a cape now though, so there's, there's a concern. Am I supposed to be flying? Wait, and then... What is this? I have to... Love this hack, GL. Thanks, Brad. Random cape, huh? Oh, I need to, yeah, okay. I actually need to have the cape flight here. I'm slow, but I can slam. And then, oh, then I, I wrap through and get it. And then I have to, I have to spin that up. I have to spin it twice. And like that, and then we don't fly here. We have to jump, jump. P balloon. need to survive one more thing. All right, it all makes sense now. Dude, how do I get it faster? I have to use the, sp uh, the bean.
Is this right? I think it's this right. Oh, 